Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here on the channel. It's your boy Slade. I've been gone for like two months. I have not uploaded in a very long time, and I'm sorry about that. I honestly haven't even played Minecraft in a very long time. The reason was I'll just honestly want to focus on finishing up my first year of college, my freshman year, and now that I have finished, I'm in summer, and I'm ready to get back on the grind and uh, start back up with the consistent uploads. We're here on Fade Clouds new skyblock room i guess not new skyblock room new skyblock season i guess you could say your boy is 10 days late it reset 10 days ago so we're getting a pretty late start here we'll see what we can do i don't really know what goals i want to set for myself because we are starting so late i was thinking if we started you know at the correct time right when it released we'd try to maybe try to get is top 10 top 10 uh between that uh, but yeah, with us starting today's late, don't think that's possible. So we'll see. We'll have to set ourselves other goals. But uh, yeah, it I feels good to be back. I'm excited to get into this series. We got some loot boxes to open to start it off and a monthly crate. I'm stoked for it. We're also going to be giving away one of these Hermes loot boxes uh, in the video. So to enter, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your Minecraft username next Skyblock episode, which should be pretty soon and probably within the next day or two. Uh, the winner will be now. So let's go and hop right into episode one of the new Skyblock season. All right, we went ahead and created the original island. Uh, I went ahead and first created like one of the other themed islands, but it's just so big. I don't want to have to clear it out so we went ahead disbanded it and created a, the original one just so it's small and we can start building off of it right off the rip and don't have to worry about uh clearing the island and all that so the chest all this useless but your boy ender chest right here three hermes loot boxes i'm excited for him here we go bang first one i know the armor is usually like the best part of these loot boxes and what you usually want and we got none of them that's just sad fox spawner glow squid spawner I'm pretty sure that is the best spawner on the server uh pet candy and then two legendary coins pouches we'll go and shift click these bad boys open those up see what we're gonna get four thousand and then three thousand actually that was near five thousand the first one all right pretty freaking good now we got another one let's hope to get some armor i'm pretty sure i mean the armor is usually what we want but We'll see. I mean, we still got some pretty good stuff. Six elite keys. There we go. The Terminator leggings. That should be pretty good. And then three monthly keys. Dude, are you serious? Dude, that is insane. Okay, that reward is by far the best, I believe, because the monthly keys, are, I think, are better, I, I believe. We'll see. But, okay, what do these Terminator leggings do? Plus three on looting. That's pretty good, I would say. I'm not sure. Again, I'm kind of new to it. So, if you're a legend at the... I mean, if you're a OG this realm... You know, you're probably going to be making fun of me this video. I, I'm rusty, okay? I got to get used to everything. Now, slash crates. Here we go. Four monthly crates. We're going to go ahead and bang this. I don't know if I turn the animation off. I think it still does it for the monthly crate. We'll see, but let's freaking go. Okay, the armor, I'm pretty sure, is probably good. Venom helmet. We'll see what the boost is. Uh, Personally, XP voucher. Okay, we just got a lot. We're going to have to look through it. Okay, this Venom helmet... 25% coin boost pretty sure that's, that's gonna be good honestly I don't know if there's like better gear that give better coin boost so that's why I'm not sure if it is good or not um and then more exp pouches okay money booster we got the may tag I don't think I have that okay four dark pet eggs let's go because I was looking at the cloud shop and if I do cloud shop this is basically a currency they have I was thinking of buying some of these but we got them so thank goodness I didn't uh before opening the monthly crate before those that's going to be pretty good exp we'll just go and open all those give us some exp may tag will claim money booster throw in the pv um and then these spawners will throw in pv as well and the pet candy might as well throw the helmet as well okay here we go on uh, by the way remember we're giving this away so I'll go and put this in my inner chest uh for the winner but here we go more monthly crates i don't know if i turn off the animation does it work yeah it doesn't okay we'll go and open two more of these bad boys and we might save two more for the next video because these are really good um all right venom oh my gosh all right well your boy has the entire venom set that's sick and we got two monthly swords what a freaking pool all right so let's go and take off this member gear and let's just throw it in the void get out of my inventory and let's just pop on the full venom set that's pretty freaking good i don't i don't think i've ever seen almost getting the entire set from one crate that's pretty good all right coins pouch good and then what else did we get i really didn't see um i don't think it shows me okay well we got these monthly swords pretty sure these are good not not sure if they're going to be better than my g kit swords we'll see looting 10 is probably what's really good about them i would think um okay we got some pouches here bang bang and then now for these dragon pet eggs go and pop out those open all right we got an epic coin pet we actually just redeemed so we'll go and take that out so we got epic epic unique holy cow okay that's sick the unique chance was like five percent on that i think let me do slash cloud shop 
Uh, it was a 4% chance. So let's freaking go, baby. Your boy got really lucky in a coins pet. I mean, I think that's good. I'm pretty sure that's for slash transfer. If I can talk. I mean, if I can type. Uh, yeah, it is. So I'm sure these robot or minions are pretty good from transfer. The cell ones is definitely something we're going to want to get our hands on. Um, let me see. Player shop might be good if I decide to make my own shop and all that. Okay, I'm sure slash transfer is pretty good. It looks good. Oh, my God. We can get a rank. Holy cow. Okay, that's sick. So these other pets, I mean... They're not really high on tiers, and I think there is pet ascending this map, but I don't know if I'll be able to use it because I don't know what comes after epic. Let me see. Slash, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's cloud shop. Let's see what comes before unique. Rare. Okay, so I mean, if I ascended these two, it would get me to rare, and so I need another rare to get another unique, and I don't know if there's anything after unique. So for now, we'll just go and throw these in our PV2, and then we'll go ahead and re equip this coin's pet. That's pretty good. And then especially with the coins boost of the Venom set, holy cow, your boy is going to be getting a crap ton of coins from uh, spawners and such. All right. So now that we got through all the pay to win stuff, let's go ahead and start on our island. We got some spawners we might want to start setting up. I'm going to figure out kind of what I want to do. I know we got the mob shaft in the mine and we got slash levels in the slash pass. Uh, to get a bunch of loot and to get us started. So we'll probably start hitting those and uh, go from there. All right, at the moment, I'm setting up a nether wart farm just because if I do slash pass, one of the daily challenges is to farm 5,000 nether warts. And this is for obviously the battle pass and the battle pass is pretty overpowered i've heard so and then the, obviously the other ones are a thousand ores and 500 mobs which will be at warp dungeon warp mine which should be pretty easy to do so i'm gonna try to knock those out in this video and see how far we can get in the pass because the pass looks like it has some pretty good rewards even from the free pass rewards it looks good and then obviously the uh uh, premium pass is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this nether war farm. All right. I finished up the farm. We're not going to talk about the design. It was really messy. I miscalculated heavily, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wait for these to grow for now. And we might as well head over to the mine shaft, um, or the mob shaft, either one, probably the mine shaft first. We have gears, uh, boots. We should be running fast in the mine shaft. Hopefully it does work. And then we got this minor pickaxe, which will help a lot. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to head over there and start mining some more. All right, we're pulling up and I guess, I don't know. I went ahead and put on the full set by the way, just so we can get strength because I guess the mobs in the mine shaft are in the same spot. It was not like this, I think in the past maps, but I think they brought them back together, which I like them together more, I think, but, but like the last seasons, or at least the last time I played, who knows when that was and how many seasons are between that. Um, there was a mob shaft and then a, uh, and then a mine shaft. So it was different. And I think the reason they did that was just so you're not getting swarmed with mobs while you're trying to mine, which is kind of what happening, what is happening to me right here, but we should be able to knock it out. Yeah. Okay. We can mine iron should be chilling. So yeah, I guess I can kind of get two and one done for slash pass because the challenges are to kill how many mobs is the five. Okay. 500 and then a thousand orbs. Okay. So we can easily, oh, if we don't die. I really don't, I don't think you lose your stuff if you die in here, which is good. I went ahead and deposited all my XP in an XP bottle just in case you lose your XP, but I'm going to go and grind out these and try to complete this daily challenges. All right, as you can see in chat, we just leveled up four tiers in the battle pass. I'm guessing we completed the mob quest today. I believe, yeah, 500 mobs, we did that. So now, all we really got to focus on is uh, the mining factor, which is definitely the harder one, just because it, when you're mining, you just get hit from behind all the time. But the good thing is, I figured out I can one-tap these mobs with the pickaxe, so I can just keep the pickaxe out the entire time. I need to look. Okay, I need to... So have to take some damage here slash pass see how many we need okay so we're about halfway there on the mine we have about 435 out of a thousand so now i just need to focus on getting all this iron mined up and uh, then we'll go back to the nether warp farm and hopefully complete all three quests uh in this video all right so as far as slash pass goes we completed the ores and mobs pass and i came back to the island hoping the nether warp would be grown and it's not sadly so I mean, some of it's grown, but not all of it. So what I'm going to do is probably just expand it out even more. But for slash pass, I think I actually have to click to redeem the rewards, I believe. You have finished. Yeah, right here. So do I click it? Okay, yeah, perfect. So we're getting all these rewards. Bang, bang, bang. Beautiful. 
Wait, we got a cool farmer minion. Oh, wait, was that one of the rewards? I had no idea. Okay, place this minion for it to start working for you on your island. Do I... Okay, just right... Just like that? Or wait, does it have to... Wait, do I have to place it in front of like a... Do I have to play... Wait, increase the minion speed. Do I place it in front of like the nether wart? Sell a minion is collected. I think... Because it's a farmer minion, right? So... I think... What if I just do one of these bad boys? Bang. Yeah. Hey! That is sick. The only thing about this, I actually... Nope. Get away from the nether wart for now because... um. I, it doesn't count for my slash pass if he's mining it. So I don't want you to mine it. But I don't know what his radius is. But I think it'd be smart for me to just build a little farm around him. I think that'd be the most uh, ideal thing. If I do slash shop, we need to go ahead and look at uh, what sells for the most. So sugarcane sells for 25. Carrot 60. Wow. And potato 60. So probably carrot or potato. Netherwort 200. Okay. So it definitely is netherwort. So we might as well. I guess we could... Uh, build a little farm around him. Let's see this melon sell for one. Okay, so it's definitely nether wart is the best We're gonna go and buy a lot more because we need to expand this farm a lot We're gonna go and redeem all these pouches and then we gotta go slash shop again buy more soul sand Which should be right here bang bang, bang. equal amount one two three four five six seven Okay, we have eight one two three four five six seven eight so one two we have five six seven eight There we go that should be equal and we need to go ahead and expand this farm It's gonna be a while I'm gonna have to speed run this I need to get schematica I'm on lunar client it does not have schematica and it's kind of it, it sucks But let me go and put some around him I don't know what his radius is to be honest uh, so we can actually test that out Let's see boom 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 it's actually gonna have to grow so I'm gonna have to test it out off camera but i'm gonna go and build him a little three by three around him uh i'm guessing that will be maybe his radius we'll see um oh oh he floats beautiful can we place oh we can just do that that's nice all right well i'm gonna go to set this up and i'll bring it back all right so we finished the farm and i got some uh, i got a lot of good information basically for the past i can just place break place break place break and that's actually good oh i didn't mean to resend that message but this guy's been helping me you're gone a lot so slash pass as you can see i'm at 19 if i just place break place break place break it bumps up so that's going to be pretty easy to get 5,000. and the reason that's low-key need is because there's no harvester hose which i had no idea <laughs> about so I mean, breaking all this farm and having to replant it 5,000 times would be, you know, take forever. So, place break actually makes sense. So, that'll be easy to do. And then we figured out the minions go for a 7 by 7 radius, which is insane. So, we're going to go and place them in. And basically, for farming, it's basically minions is what I was told. You really don't farm by hand uh, any farm. So, if that makes sense, hopefully. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 um, should be there. And then if I go in 1, 2... Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's how the seven by seven radius works. And all right, yeah, he hammered it. Wait, so it was one, two, three. Wait, no, it was three by three. Oh, I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That makes sense. So I had it right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I had him right in here. All right, I'm dumb. I'm actually going to remove you because I want to go ahead. So we're basically, we're going to be filling up this entire farm with minions ultimately when we get. Uh, enough minions if that makes sense so we'll go and place him back here does that work oh i, I think it has to be on the same level i'm guessing yeah. nope maybe all right there break that break that place that there we go all right so that minion was in the correct spot but as far as this challenge where it's going to do that it should be easy to gain and i'll bring it back i guess when we finish it all right so we went ahead and got it out it took like five minutes to uh just place and break uh five thousand other words but as you can see we went way overboard i wasn't even paying attention but as you can see we got up to tier eight and we can't really make any progress more than that uh, because i guess it's a daily thing so which is pretty good so we'll go and claim our uh, rewards and what do we get an iron minion heck yes and it's farming as well exactly what we wanted so let's go ahead and do one two three four and then one two three okay so boom that's nope you, you need to break this boom boom okay there you go and now we got another farmer minion these are actually pretty good, I believe. And then we can go ahead and upgrade them. Wait, come on. Let me click on this. So 123K, not much, but this is like the lowest tier minion. And if we go ahead and upgrade it, I guess it'll make the fortune go higher. And it's only 1,500 coins. So we'll go and do that. Uh, we might as well just max it out to level five. There we go. And so now the fortune is five. So we're literally getting five times the amount we were just getting because I think it was one and the speed is 30 seconds so I think it'll break uh, faster and then for this minion how much is it gonna cost I could, might as well place place one right there I think it breaks that one I don't know oh no I don't think it does yeah it doesn't break that one so there's no point of having that there um, but 
if we go ahead and look at how much it up co cost to upgrade this one 3000 and see okay this one is so much better already has fortune 5 so bang go and just use all our coins because i have no other use for coins right now um max that out so 10 times fortune 25 seconds so this one is literally times two better than that minion you love to see it okay so minions are good wait we need to make sure that's there all right and perfect so i guess that is that's gonna wear that's gonna be a place where we stop episode one um we'll pick up here for episode two we got a good amount of work done um I mean, mostly it was just completing the uh, past quest, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, you know, find more about the realm. I, we haven't even really touched uh, much of it. We've just kind of focused on one thing or a few things this episode. Next episode, we'll uh, dive deeper into other features. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Remember to enter in our giveaway, this video of the Hermes loot box, and I'll roll that in next episode. And I'll see you guys then.